Today I mostly want to demonstrate some of the ways you can use the Voice Memos application on your iPad to get more out of your practice sessions. Before we do that though, I want to suggest downloading a metronome app if you don't already have one that you use. Uh, make sure you spell metronome correctly. This one, Pro Metronome, is the one I've been using in band rehearsals, so it might look the most familiar. But you can really use any metronome app that suits your need. Okay, but right now let's talk about voice memos. You should have the app already, and the icon looks like this. Voice memos is really useful for seeing a visual representation of the sound of your instrument. Once you hit record, experiment with different articulations and note shapes. You should be able to see these differences reflected in the shape of the waveform. For best results, record in a quiet setting and play close to your iPad's microphone, but not too close. As a demonstration, I recorded four different versions of a familiar tune so that you can compare how they sound and how they look. The first version is mostly legato with smooth, rounded shapes throughout. The second version is shorter and articulated, and you can see the peaks and valleys represented visually. The fronts of these notes have a strong accent. Notice the triangular shape of each sound as it begins with a firm attack and then a tapered decay. This last one is staccato, and the gaps between sounds are very exaggerated, both visually and aurally. Here are the same four examples shown all together. You can see the difference, right? If you think your articulation is clear, try recording yourself and see if it looks clear as well. If it doesn't, you might need more contrast between styles. Speaking of contrast, Let's talk dynamics. Set a metronome to an agreeable tempo, around 80 beats per minute works well for this, and see if you can crescendo from very soft to very loud and back again in a set number of beats. I like growing for 8 beats, then fading away for 8 beats without a breath. If this is tough, start with 6 or 4 until your breath control is improved. Start on a note that is easy to control on your instrument. In general, the middle of your range will work best for starting out here. Eventually, you may want to challenge yourself by playing lower and higher notes with the same level of dynamic control. Exercises like these are really top tier, so don't get discouraged if you find it difficult at first. Don't forget to take a break if you need to. Until next time.